my name is Nuri Devin Latif and I'm from the E66C. So for today, I've been assigned by my lecturers to do a commentary video regarding Chapter 4, Socializations. So for today's commentary video, I've chosen a topic or a case study that is related to a fairy tale. So before I proceed to my case study, let me tell you what a fairy tale is. So basically, a fairy tale is a kid that does not receive any human care or have any contact and also um, develop a social behavior since they were young because either they are being confined from the others, brought up by the animals or they live in the wall. So basically, this kid grew up alone or by animal. So for case study that I've chosen is about two little girls that have been brought up by a wolf. So these two little girls were named uh, Kamala and Amala. So the younger is Amala and the older is Kamala. These two girls were found by a local villagers uh, when this particular person named uh, Mrs. Singh found a wolf and a cup. So she thought that it was a cup but it was like you know it's weird when a cop has a black hair and kind of thing but looks like a baby human baby because the younger one is only one and a half year at that time so basically um this mr singh goes uh try to separate the mother the wolf mother and this little cops this creature that, that they call cops which is kamala and amala so basically um these two little girls behave like a wolf where they only eat a raw meat you know because wolf is a uh, omnivore hey, I'm sorry it's a carnivore they are carnivores so basically they eat raw meat only and they don't um, eat cooked food and they also um, lick all the liquids using their tongues and their tongues have always um you know like a dog it's always um out they also don't sleep at midnight and they howl to call their family because they have been staying um with the pack of wolves since they were young so they developed the behavior of the wolf itself so basically um what is the sad thing about these two little girls that they don't survive very long which is um they were found in 1920 and the younger only survived for one year after they have been found that is that she died uh, because she felt sick something so she died at 1921 um for the elder one 1929 so basically nine years after they have been found she died because of tuber tuberculosis Okay, so basically what I want to talk about their case study, I mean, what how they behave is related to socialization is that um, as we know, um, we human have this stage of self which is a theory by myth. So basically, um, they, I, I believe that they have this stage of self but it's not from human where the first stage is preparatory stage children imitate people around them so basically they have this first stage of stage of self which is preparatory stage but they don't imitate people they imitate the animal itself so basically that's how they get the you know the character of howling don't sleep at midnight and oh yeah they're also not very you know they could not they could not see very well in the day but you know their eyes are very acute during night like a wolf i said and then the second one is the second stage is play stage children develop skills in communicating through symbols and role taking so basically they do have this stage i believe because <clears throat> they how so that's how the wolf communicate with each other and when the wolf howl they call the packs so basically they have this but then it's not from humans so basically and the last is um the game stage consider several actual tasks and relationship simultaneously 
So basically, uh, they are taking more serious of the, I mean, the actions of stuff and everything. So basically, they have the stage. I mean, the stage of self, but they don't develop into human beings. But they develop into a wolf because they've been staying with a wolf, right? And then, looking coolie theory, looking glass self. So I believe that they have this theory in them, but then it's just they're not looking for a human uh, character or behavior. I mean, where the self is the product of social interactions with other people, but the only people or the only thing that they interact is with is animals. So basically, with wolves. So there are, you know, reflecting back what wolf is. So basically, they have this looking glass self, but they could not develop the behavior of a human being because you know, living in the wall is very tough. And then, um, I also believe that they have this. You know, we have this eat ego and super ego, which. It is our nature instinct. When we are baby, we tend to cry because baby can't think. Baby don't know anything. So basically, this kids only that de- does not develop uh, their ego and super ego because ego basically um the the realistic one, the realistic which um separates you from your desire and needs. And super ego is your morality. So basically, they only develop until the stage of they do not develop because it is a natural thing. So basically, they stop there. And then, when they were found by Mister Singh, this um lady tried to help them to develop their super ego, ego, and try to help them to have a better stage of self. So basically. What I believe that is, these two little girls develops all these three theories, but then they do not have the right track, which they should be interacting with human beings. But instead, they are interacting with the world. So that is why they are all behaving like that. So basically, uh, this case study attracts me because I really love wolves, and you know, I really love to watch the. A uh, jungle, the book of jungle. So basically, it's how the boy being raised by a wolf, and but but still, he can behave like human. So I bel- so the story it's like you know seems related and seems like it's the same. So basically, that's the case study I would like to talk about today. And thank you for listening to my video. See you again.